All right, so the, uh, the meeting is officially open. It, uh, it is 7.33, and uh, present at the meeting is uh, Rick Madden, Art Edgerton, Bob Clark, and Mark Sotir. Uh, Rachel Keller is uh, with us. And uh, the first order of business is accepting the, uh, the minutes of the August 14th and August 28th um, meeting. Does anybody... I, I uh, read on my eye. I so move unless somebody has a problem with it. So, uh, second. motion has been seconded. Uh, a vote to accept the meetings from the 14th and 28th. Aye. 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 Any nays? Okay, motion carries. The meetings are accepted. The minutes are accepted. Um, the mail folder has been uh, passed around. I, I don't know if everybody's yeah. got a chance to look at it yet. Uh, yeah. Rick's going through it now. Yeah. I might say it on the second on the notice of violations, we voted, but in a little different form last time. This was a form the legal people wanted, so it was doing. It's the same violation, just different form. Yeah. yeah, it's the problem we had there. I like, guess that a lot of not administrative, a lot of problem. We don't really have a form that says what they what needs to be said, and so we. Thought we knew what we were going to do, but they said no. This is a, this is what they they would rather have. I mean, rather than us trying to fill a certificate of compliance form and say denial, and they said here's the violations that that why we can't do it. All right, Rachel. That's right. So those are going around for signatures. Um, yeah, yeah. And we we're all set with those. Yeah. So we have a few minutes before our 7:40 uh, public hearing. On Ludden's full of hydro seating, so yeah. If I, I'll try. <coughs> what is happening down there at 14 now is uh, trying to find a way to get it down. Well, the other thing I should have said is the structures that need to be put into the ground and even haven't even been audited yet, and they have six to eight week yeah. delivery. Yeah, the cure and such. Which yeah. puts us back into the winter months. Which means you know, next year. Yeah, well, yeah. Except that the road is supposed to be have its finished coat put on it by the middle of November for the winter, from there to the center of town. I don't think it's going to happen. Well, not if we're going that way. There, no. there is. There is. I just realistically, I don't think that's going to happen. Started last Friday looking at it. They're looking now at uh, all the catch basins out on the road. That, that are feeding this rest of this going down in yep. can be retrofitted with what we used to call basically gas traps. They're right. eliminators now. Right, eliminators, gas uh, traps. Yeah. And if they do that, then they can get the uh, material, the solid materials going into the pond to a level that would be uh, acceptable. Hopefully. <laughs> they say. <laughs> For how long? They're saying. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, see, I like to give you all of the, I don't like to try to, there's a problem that goes along with it, is that they're, main, they're maintaining tenants type of thing. Yep. <laughs> Which we don't have a trouble Gas traps for. years ago were always put in all catch basins, yep. but they got in the way of the people cleaning, cleaning the catch, catch basins. basins. So the, the guy cleaning the catch basins usually found a way to knock it off with the first or second set of cleanings, put it in the back with the junk and got rid of it. Uh, these don't stick out like that, but they still need to be maintained at least once a year. Yep. Well, that means DPW has that much more work that they're going to have to do. Do you need a special truck too? No. Okay. No. I, well, I say no. These well, things kind of like, they don't bolt, they kind of fit into the, the pipes. And they're like, a, they're like a big filter type of setup, really. Uh, I don't think they need a big truck, but it means somebody has to be able to get in and out of the the pit. Yeah, so it's going to be work. You know, when you bring things up to my, up to code, that happens. You end up with my looking more into work, it, and I can stuff more infrastructure <coughs> take I care can, of. I can talk a little more freely because Scott's not here. Is I don't know how DPW is going to going to buy it. They're actually pushing for this only because. Part of the egg is on their face because you know, we're backed into a corner partly because somebody dropped the ball a year and a half ago 
when the town meeting gave them the money to do this this work. <coughs> whether it's GPW, whether it's the engineers, DOT, somebody dropped it. So, so, so maybe they're going to accept more work without a big so to do. When but when you say retrofit versus what? Well, retrofit <laughs> versus <laughs> the catch basins will accept them now. It just means putting them in. Okay. Uh, so the new the catch engineers, will take them. In other words, they have to have... The newer have, catch basins will accept The these? new ones that have all been put in Pin will, will accept, accept them. They're all gonna, they all have a, uh, a, we call it depth in them. Yep. That's, that will make the specs so that these can cert be certified to do the work. Do the work, to take out the gas. Right now, the we, I asked last week to have the engineers review all this and get some information to us before we can make a big... You know, it's funny, with all the gas traps and this and that, one of the better things to still do is just throw a pad in yeah. on, along with it. Yeah. The pad gets saturated with oil, take it out. Yeah, they, uh, there may have to be still some work done yeah. at the edge of the pond, but the, no, not the extensive work that will have to be, would have to be done with what has been you know, proposed up to now. It's really too bad that we didn't own the property down the street, the bog, when they designed all this because the water retention, you stand at my shop and you watch a license plate go from my shop all the way down to the pond. It only loses two and a half inches in grade. And you got to do a 26, seven, eight foot hole instead of run it right down to a beautiful open air pit we could have, but it's a year year or two late. Rick, there's a lot of a lot of things that you know. should have been done out there that weren't. Oh yeah. I have to stick at least stick up for the old board. They got a lot done more than what was originally, originally put into it. To be, yeah. But they didn't get done anywhere near what should be done yeah. for protecting the pond. I mean it was a clean it was basically a hurry up you know, and wait situation. And yeah. Are you going to get the money? Are you not? Like, and people don't get that serious until they realize they're going to get the money. Yeah. Then it's too late to get serious. That's how it is. That, that, that's it, yeah. You know? I, I've always been concerned that when we get to the point of looking to dredge the ponds, assuming that's, and that's where, you know, everything is headed. I uh, hope. <laughs> we might, you know, if we don't do something to clean the water that we're putting into the way, we're going to have a hard job selling that we want them to give us money to, to, dredge. to dredge the pond. And that was our argument from day one that we needed to be proactive or look proactive if we thought we were going to get help down the road. So do we know at this point if DPW is buying into this filter system and the, uh, the Well, they're the, the they're the ones that gave it to me, but what, that wasn't from their, their top people. Right. You know, and so I don't, I don't know. It's you can a, always look them up online and see what their stats are on their performance. Yeah, well, that's it. The, the, the engineers are today. working on that right now. This is all came today. up last, the you middle of right last up. week. But it's it's uh, it's one of those things that it's going to be ugly if they have to dig that intersection up and the people in town. Uh, it's going to be ugly no matter how. It's a huge hole. That's yeah. like the big well, dick. Yeah, but that's it's more, massive. More yeah. ugly than that is they, these people in town have been promised that that part of the road would we'll be, be done. done before winter. You know, yeah. and this is just no it's way. It's completely enough, impossible. Right? I don't see it happening, but you know, I'm just a high school so, educated guy. Uh, yes, they, they kind of scramble. But right at the moment, that's it's all still in just general stages yet. But uh, the sidewalks are looking great. Well, yeah. I mean, People they're, use them every day. They love them. It's healthy. It's safe. It's a good thing. Yeah, they're they're, so. they're working on. They they they're re they'd be ready for finishing it. I mean, up to as far as the yeah. center of town, which Except is big which is I didn't think they'd get that far. Yeah, they really didn't it seems yeah. like they've, they've done they've done well. I mean, you have to go through it every day like I do, but it isn't as bad as what we had thought it might be. I mean. There's been backups, but not... The first holes they created were. Yeah. They had to go in and take them out and let them repack and then yeah. go over them again. Their first patch was like a roller coaster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They fixed it. And that's probably where a lot of the 15 I went through a road. I went through a road up in Rockland last weekend. And it hasn't been touched in I don't know how many years. But it made this road out here look like it was a, a golf green compared yeah. to <laughs> what it was. I couldn't... 
I had a sandwich in my hand and I couldn't eat my sandwich because how bad it was. It must have been really bad. That's smart. But that but this, this, kind this, of this hole up. they're going to do, um, I, I've been kind of waiting to see it. It's uh, that's, a, that's a deep hole and there's going to be a lot of water come out of that, a lot of silt, a lot of everything. And uh, it, it's a big job. That's probably the biggest part of this whole job. Yeah. Is installing that particular where, system. Where is the groundwater? What, what level is the groundwater? They're going to be working below ground water. Well below. So they're going to be pumping. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Well below. Kind of have, yeah. I mean, that would have been something to do, obviously, in July or August, too. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. That's something that should have been done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last year would have been great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it should have been all <laughs> You know, if you could the, predict last year ahead you know, of time. It's just like hanging out the old laundry. But they had the money in April, yeah. a year ago, last April, is when the town voted the money. So as of the 1st of July, a year ago, they could have been working this on this project. Just in for my edification, I guess, is there anything uh, you know in the future that we can do better proactively to move these things along, or you know, it, it, do we have any impact? So you know, she. I say, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let her answer. What have we talked about? Right. A list of list oh, of. Oh, we do. Yep, we've, we're starting. Mm -hmm. We're start. We're for even though they aren't allowed, we're starting a list of. Projects that are ongoing that need to be continually attended to well and right. given a little push because there's just too many of them are falling behind on on the scheduling. So, so we can always refer. So we can have a running list of basic yeah. things that we can that are in front of our face. Yeah, we can, we can, can bring in front and say, okay, here's all of the things I that call it the are chalk supposed board. to be going. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. the chalk board. Well, we were, <laughs> then we <laughs> said, well, that might be not a good idea to have. No, I'm saying in my, in my own life, That's I why I wanted her to board. say, because we had, we had just finished well, we talking about this. To draw over the chalk. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to have a nice big chalkboard, yeah, and then we decided <laughs> maybe we didn't want the chalkboard in front so everybody yeah. knew what we had. We yeah. wanted something that we could continue. Yeah. I think it just helps to keep everybody focused. Yeah, and keep and ourselves you, you know, focused. As things come up, you, know, you just forget yeah, about things that happen. You forget about things like this, the crosswalk, this. I mean, all these things are things that should have been pushed just a little harder or what seems to be the part of the problem now is it's whose job is it? It's, yeah. you know, too many of these things are overlapping and, you know, so it's, you've got to kind of say, okay, it's this person's job to do it and then keep saying, hey, have, have you done, have you done it until they get, get the wheels moving. Yeah, well, I think even as we're talking about this board, even, you know, who the response, you know, the truly yeah. responsible parties is and what the yeah. follow-up is, you know, yeah. again, just to keep us on point yeah. because it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's a got, lot. It's kind of a little sloppy that way. Okay. Well, we, we're running a little behind. We should yeah. uh, start our public hearing. I don't uh, know if anybody's No, we're, he's, we told him to stay away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of, this is, right, this, so is our, this is our folder on right, it. So I believe I'm, let me read this because mm. I'm, I should have done this. So, um, Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. So um, we've already uh, started the agenda. We're um, now have an open hearing for um, a notice of intent for Ludham's Ford Hydra Season. So uh, it is about 7.45 and uh, we're opening the hearing. I don't, uh, again, I don't think anybody is here for the hearing. No. So, uh, I see it's, Ludham's for, it's from the selectman's office, or the town administrator is the one that's applying through us to do hydro seating at the Ludham's Ford where we're working mm -hmm. in conjunction with the North River Commission and all to reestablish the banks up there. But because of where we're working. There's a joint coverage in that area of the North River and us. The first hundred feet off the river, as I understand it, you ground. First hundred feet off the river is North Rivers, it's not ours. Right. But everything from a hundred feet on, even though North River has three hundred foot jurisdiction, we have jurisdiction from a hundred foot to the third the rest of it. Yeah, the, okay. the first 50 feet is, is critical. The second 50 feet, making 100 feet, is what they consider mandatory. We deal with them, and the rest they're they're pretty good actually. Yeah. They, they've done a lot to help help the system. And actually, this is just this is the paperwork to make it legal that we can go in and do the hydro seating. Okay. Uh, the area was disturbed 
last spring there was seed put in there, but it took and it somewhat, but not like what we'd like. So we set, they figured that we'd hydro seed it this fall, give it a good chance to get, yep. you know, get going and on there. But we need this paperwork. It's kind of already the North River people have said yes, go, you yep. can go ahead and hydro seed to here. So it's well, the time is certainly now. Yeah, uh, for if and this is done, right? this so. is another one of the this. this should, yeah. You know, one of these projects that really we should have taken care of a month ago, but we let it slip because we didn't have it on well, our, our list that it needs to be done by, you know. So, yeah, we need to handle it tonight because we're losing the hydro seed uh, window, time. The window. Right. It, yeah. yeah, like I say, it's, it's basically now, so. Wasn't there something about trees supposed to be done there? That's another, that's yeah, another that's whole That's a whole project. different yeah. uh, thing. Yeah. Okay. I know it's a different thing, but it's like, well, why aren't they doing that? Because the, that requires a, a and we get them this, I'll, I'll update you on some of that other thing. This is this is really just to get this grass in the ground and growing for the Keep no, some, for the winter the winter period and all. Get some roots in the ground and right now. Well, while we're talking about. It, I guess we can talk the whole thing because we we still got. Is there a is there uh, a plan? Uh, is there a schematic of this anywhere? Yeah, we uh, well, well, there's some but plans. Yeah. When you're talking about, we have rough, found rough. out that. Uh, where we where some monies can be obtained to do a master plan of of the Ludham Ford nice. Pembroke Park, and that's being investigated right now. And you no, know, it'll be so awarded once the plan comes through and back. Then it'll come before. And that's where the trees and all these other things are are being taken care of. I think the North River Commission said they need to be planted right away, though. They they asked me actually what uh, time period would be uh, you know available and a good window and I had said that a few months ago I'm not certain that it would be wise to plant this larger time. trees this time of year yeah I, I think you'd be cutting them short on, on their survival rate and that's what we want we want whatever trees you put in we want a good good right. healthy so we should survival start making plants now to get planted in the that, spring um, because they it have, takes a long time I have to talk over the, you know to yeah. the North River Water Commission about this, but this is a tree that they've been using in all applications to replace the American elm, and they have a beautiful. Uh, it's called the Elms. It's on Main Street in Hanover. They were planted 60 years ago, and I thought they were elms. I'm pretty hard to fool on, on trees, yes, and I Just thought they were elms. And uh, they have a great track record, <clears throat> and you can go and look at them. But I don't know if that's something that uh, they would fancy up to or not about uh, doing a... Zelkova? Is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 so it's, it's yeah, look them up because it's a great uh, tree. It's a great tree and uh, highly recommended by a bunch of different foresters I know. And I would think, you know, Elm Street would be a great place to have an Elm Park down the road. Is, is and the other thing is, if they did see themselves, which they do do, we could use them to uh, collect seed and further, I'd love to see elm trees on West Elm Street again in my lifetime, at least little ones. <laughs> is the so that, area that um, is slated for these trees, is it in the same area that we're hydro seeding? Uh, yeah. It's in the same pot. Yeah, it's, pot. it's in the same pot, but it's yeah. not, it's, it's it's not, within, it's not within the hydro seeded area. Down, right? No, no, okay. not, not so right it's within the hydro seeded area. No, well, I don't know, the trees are coming down from either end. Right. Yeah, the whole park, whatever we're hydro seeding, it won't be and, and disturbed by the tree planting okay, part okay. of it. So they're two yeah. separate areas, yeah. basically. So the same area. They're close. I mean, they abut each other. One is the rain garden and one is the lawn. Same. And the lawn is to be mowed so they can get rid of that beautiful Japanese knotweed, um, which, <laughs> good luck. I wish all the luck in the world yeah. getting rid of that stuff. Real quick, we have a small patch on... Furnace Pond, right across from the little bog, right across from the Nine Owls. There's a small little 20-foot section in there now, mm -hmm. and just off, you know, different in things. The, that should be water. addressed. Right on the edge of the water, and it's yeah. going to take over that whole strip. It, it will take it over used to one time years ago, it was all that. that and it was yeah, and pe people beat it down, and then I think the dirty diapers killed it off. It was a brutal mm -hmm. place. People were just, when disposable diapers came along, they would just toss them in the woods everywhere. That's why we have all the roads blocked off at the ponds now, because people from other towns would come, I won't say names of towns, but come here, 
camp out for the weekend and just leave everything decrepit. But that's something that um, I don't know what they use for that on a pond. But I would think a heavy duty plastic over it would be one way. I don't think uh, I'd hate to see it take over. There's some really nice yeah. plants coming back in there that are all native. So down the road on that one, different subject, but the same thing, the knotweed. I don't know if there is a... Well, it's really oh, tough oh. to eradicate it. Uh, oh, it's, you know, the only time to spray it is it's almost, the time is almost yeah. gone when it's when right, it flowers. Right, right. You want it with a vegetative uh, you need, state. You need to do that about three years in a row before it actually has any impact has any whatsoever. Effect. So the only real way to get it is to dig it up by the roots and keep at it. Yeah. It's a arduous task. Yeah. Yep. Um, but as you said, it's uh, it, it spreads fast and it uh, it roots deep and it uh, it just takes over everything. Yeah, the roots aren't that deep, but they all it takes is a piece the size of your pinky, I, it, <laughs> and it grows prolifically. When you root prune, things love to be root prune. They they blow up. Well, we get back. I just take a motion that we close. First of all, I I second the motion. You can't. I can't second. Second the motion. You shouldn't. Okay, I shouldn't. Right. Okay. Right. We'll learn it. All right. So, um, so we're going to vote on the motion. Move we close first, yeah. Close. Yeah. Discussion. Discussion is right. done. Fine. Yep. I'm, I'm good for it. Yep. Second. Yeah. Uh, second. Yep. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. This is separate. I move we. Uh, totally. We hydrocede according to plan. Okay. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. The sooner Aye. the better. I second it. Right. Okay. Okay. The um, separate thing real quick. The, the trees, though, I'd like to uh, get permission from you guys to unofficially, officially talk to the North River Commission and see if they would be privy to that type of tree being a replacement tree for the American elms. Well, you know, the American, American elms, elms don't uh, do well, and they... The only, the only thing I would ask about that, Eric, is because our key person is Ed Vaughn. Yep. You just, I would like you to talk to Ed that yep. you're going to do it just because oh, yeah. he no, is the, keep, keep he is supposedly in. our Pembroke's key yep. person there. Yeah. Yep, I agree. I don't want to nope. step on too many. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to ruffle any more feathers than we have to. The, um, <clears throat> I think they're a good tree. I don't know what Scott had. He had said that they had in Canada a resistant tree. So I don't know if it's the same tree. I'd like to talk to Scott because he had a, 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 a access to disease resistant elms. I don't know if that's the same tree or if he was talking about an American elm because if we stick with American elm, I'd love to. But it doesn't do any sense to plant yeah. something that's going to die in 30 years. Yeah, 30 years. I've seen them live about 60 years. That's about well, it. We haven't been doing for thousand years, right? We're just saying go ahead with it. Right. We don't have any of them. We haven't had any Okay. Time. So, all right. So, next on the agenda is the crosswalk at uh, 190 Barker Street. I'd like to move that we, uh, yeah, that we go ahead with this next phase of it, which is, a, they're saying it's $1,000 in design. For the finishing? For th yeah, well, that's just the design. Say, yeah, but yeah, just finishing the on the crosswalk, yeah. Yeah, um, so, so it's been 3,000 already, roughly? No, we've, only, we've spent five, 500 is all we've 500, spent. 500, okay. but that's, yeah. you don't get anything done for that. That's a good deal. Yeah. yeah. Really Yeah, is. I thought it was 3,000 too, so. Yeah. yeah. In no. reading the information, the only thing that I thought that stood out was the um, the solar beacons powering it. Uh, that yeah. seemed awful expensive. I don't know what it would cost to run those for the next 20 years, but it probably would be less than the $15,000 for the yeah. solar beacons. Yeah, I, that's. I, I was waiting for the engineers to come back with something on that. I thought that was awfully expensive. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't think I could stand behind that one, but. Uh, other than yeah, that, I'm all for solar, but not when it's ten times the cost of anything. Yeah, yeah. It's those just, big fancy ones with all the lights and everything yeah. flashing. Yeah, yeah. They were talking about something, all well, the one enhanced and something yeah. that uh, that comes to my mind. Could just sell a little yeah, crosswalk. The, the that's stop, fifteen the, the grand. The stop sign right there at the at the church yeah. and the funeral parlor. That, but yeah, there. So maybe we should talk to the engineer and see if he can design something less. Well, that's what, when they they come. That was just somebody picked that out of the. Yeah. Out of, the, out of the sky when they were talking about the crosswalk. Yeah, that was a, a big reach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, again, if the state was going to pick up the bill, 
Yeah, that's one no. thing, right? Then you'd, yeah. yeah. And I would still be reluctant to spend that much money if there's another alternative. Right? Oh, Even yeah. if it's the state's money, you know. You, so you don't out want of somebody's to see what they're spending on some of the other Oh, money. I know. No, I know what they so, do. Uh, I know what they do. It's preposterous. So. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'd like to make sure we go ahead because it's another yeah. one of these time limit things that before yeah. too long they'll be putting all the curbs in down there and then we'll... We'll it, does it require a curb in. cut for that, do you know, or a yeah, special one? Yeah, there's curbs in that yeah. area so and everything, yeah. Get it done before they put them in. It would be nice to get them to put the sidewalk on the right side of the road. But so do we have to vote to appropriate that, spending of that money? Or? Yeah, we just as long, yeah, we have oh. to vote to, to okay the expenditure. And I, that's what I move, we, we okay an expenditure to finish the engineering of the crosswalk. In the approximate amount of one thousand dollars. I would second that. Okay, so we're gonna vote yep. on it. All right, so voting in favor yep. of spending a thousand dollars for the crosswalk. Aye. 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 Motion passes. Saying we got a community garden and stuff down there in the future, and is it's a great, same? beautiful piece of land. Is that what that was? What? Is that what that was? crosswalks, mm -hmm. believe me. Yeah. Like you said, it's too bad we can't just put the sidewalk where we like it, but. So what's the sidewalk's going to be on the other side? Sidewalk's on the opposite side from the hill. Yes. Okay. But part of the road. Part of the road is on the other side, too. Right. It crosses the road down at uh, where the road goes off down the street. It comes up one side, goes across, and then comes around. And, yeah. Why do they do it like that? Oh, that nice corner. Do you, do you, so really, do you really want to know? Story answer, do you right? want the story on that? <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Okay. When the road was first under engineering, by a DPW commissioner group that long since not here. One of the commissioners lived down on whatever the street is, I can't think of the name of that street that goes in down there. Anyway, he lived yeah. down there. So he insisted the sidewalk be on his side of the, of road. the road. And so, but it, it already is on the other side of the road coming off of the corner. So it comes down, crosses over his side of the road, and then comes up this side. This is one of those things was fought when we got into this a few years back, because if the sidewalk had been on the Heron Run side, that would have taken care of our disabilities, accesses, Access and everything Run. else. Yep, all but we one. could not get anyone to change it over. They said it, it was too far in the design stage to change over. Well, thank you for that. There's a whole lot of battles we lost on that. Okay? Yeah. There was battle after battle on that thing going on. It's the state. That's lost. what happens yeah. with the state. That's, yeah, yeah. That's there's just no place to fight. As a conservation commission, if you push somebody too hard, they go above, you go to the state, and you lose. Yeah. There's a balance there you have to maintain. All right. Okay, all right. It's 8 o'clock, and uh, next on the agenda is an uh, uh, interview for Sandra Simon. That's right. I'm taking that you. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. So um, I've just been uh, interviewed and appointed a few weeks ago myself, Sandra, so uh, I'm not sure how we want to run this, but uh, maybe you can stop by telling us a little bit about yourself and, uh, oh. and oh, why sure. you have interest in the vacancy. Yes, as you hear, um, my name is Sandra Simon, and I just put in an application to become a member here. And um, I've been living in here in Pembroke for over 37 years now. Um, I grew up at the edge of Ponds. Right now I live at the edge of furnace pond, and previous to that I lived at the edge of Oldham Pond, and I think doing so um, made me somewhat passionate about the natural world, about um, the water and the, the animals and the plants. Um, I, I consider myself um, a fair-minded person, I consider myself um, open-minded, and um, I'm willing to learn. Um, my experience here in the town hall, I was on the open space committee for um, I don't know how many years. Yeah. They, my kids were little when I was on it, now they're <coughs> adults, so um, I've been on and off for, for quite a while. Um, I think one of the, the things that we, as a committee we took the most pride in was the purchase of Tubbs Meadow. Um, it's, it's very much enjoyed by the public. and. Um, 
I like um, how we all worked well as a team and um, structured that purchase um, with the different grants. Um, back then we had to write the open space um, report to make us eligible for state grants. And it was um, just a good, a good team effort to uh, make us eligible for um, grant money. Now, I don't know, I know I know Rob, I've met Rachel. Um, I don't know you three gentlemen, I recognize you, I think. Plus the guy in the shorts. Do you live, uh, do you work at, on Mattachusett Street? Yeah, okay. right beside Samson Lumber. Okay, that's why. I'm, I'm in and out of Samson yeah. Lumber, and I live across the street on Furness Lane. There you go. That's why I recognize you. Um, I don't know if anyone has a question. Well, what brought you into the Conservation Commission? Again, please? What brought you in here? What brought me in here? I, my passion, just as I said, is the natural world, and in open space and being on open space committee. But um, I'm not so sure in how active they are right now. And so um, I'd like to give this a try. Um, I know they sh I always consider Conservation Commission the parent in open space like the child. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, what years did you serve on open space? Now, I was trying to remember I think right around 1999, I'm trying to remember. Um, I wrote in my application, I actually had to look back at my photo albums. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I was looking at all 35 millimeters and all right, what was the date of this photo taken? And um, so that was our biggest success. We made some other attempts to purchase land for the town. Um, I think the last big try we made was on West Elm Street. And um, we did receive grant money from the state, but um, the town meeting decided it wasn't the right time to make that purchase. Yeah. Yeah. And now there's 12 houses out there. That's right, that's right. Yeah. And I always thought, wow, what a great place to have because yeah. Great Cedar Swamp's right in the middle, yeah. the Tommy Ray Herring Run on one side, and then you would have had this castle on the other. Mr. And I walked back out place. there, there's, there's all kinds of trails. And, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to just speak a little bit for Sandy because I, I sat on this side of the table when she, she did, and her committee did a lot of work mm -hmm. at open space between tubs and all that, and they got very discouraged and rightfully so because uh, they were growing great with getting land for Pembroke, and then all of a sudden it seemed like everything fell through. Two or three parcels that they worked real hard yeah. on. Yeah. just didn't get the kind of support that it, they sure, should I, have. I used to like to joke because for some reason the Open Space Committee would have me go at town meeting floor and speak the microphone and I'd say, all right, maybe I should put my raincoat on. Am I going to get rotten tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Conservation used to yeah. be a four-letter word. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But, uh, they, worked, they worked very hard. They did yeah. a great open space program. Uh, yeah. That, that we're still, we're now doing some final stages of touching back up again, but... Uh, right, and working with Wildlands Trust, yeah. that was always um, a good partnership. Um, the part of the open space plan that I enjoyed doing most was the land inventory. Oh. I um, really, I really liked the research, research part of it in the library, going back all the decades and decades and decades and looking at Pembroke um, at town meeting had moved certain parcels into um, CONCOM's management and then um, following through and, and categorizing who had what land and what we can do to make um, things better here for the, the citizens for their um, recreation for open space. I think also important, like you said, the, the, the wildlife. I know people that, you know, they, oh, we went up and we saw this and we saw that. I'm like, I know my backyard. <laughs> I see. You know, great blue herons, I see white herons, great egrets, you know, eagles, bald eagles, ospreys, it's, you know, fish yep. jumping everywhere. It's like, so it's a beautiful, beautiful environment. Being um, in Pembroke for 37 years now at the edge of a pond, um, well, kind of more than that. I'm in my 50s, so I've been at the edge of a pond for more than half a decade, I guess. <laughs> but just the, um, just noticing what comes and goes on the pond and... At one point, a great blue heron would have been so shy, you'd have to sneak up on it to yep. take its photo. Now yep. they're everywhere. And now the swans, and watching their, uh, the signets, um, 
This was a bad year for swans, I noticed. I don't know if well, it was all the spring rain. No, no, it's, it's, they overpopulated the area. And when, once they do that, they yeah. realize we've overpopulated and they cut back on having swans. Yeah. This so they had areas to populate and last year they populated a lot of areas. And this year, because of that, there's not that many areas to populate. So, Mark, tell them where to come to find all the say, swans. If you want to see swans, come to Silver Lake. There, oh yeah, every day. Oh, in in the, the, in the, the you can go thirty oh, yeah. to forty at every, a time every, or yeah. more out there. Yeah. Every time you look out. All right. So. All summer long, or just yeah. during the fall? No, all summer, all all summer, summer long. They're out there. Town Thanksgiving party. Yeah. 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 Thanksgiving does, party. How does that work out? Where they are such a territorial animal? I know at the territory, but boy, they yeah. get they're together out there. Yeah, they they yeah. they stay in the water. Um, yeah, they, don't they stay in the water together. together really, yeah. you know, I, actually, you see a lot more swans than geese. Yeah, uh, yeah, on Silver Lake anyway. More. I'm yeah. sure they chased all the Canada geese away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh yeah, they'll, they'll they'll chase anything off their pond. Yeah. that is amazing. There's so many of them. Just again, plenty of food and enough space around that pond. Um, yeah. I don't I all year long. Like multiple families yeah. of yeah. goslings? Uh, yeah, everywhere. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just, everywhere. They're just wow. solid, yeah. I walk down to the pond at night, and I say counting 40 is no no really? problem yeah. at wow. all. Wow, absolutely, yeah. Wow. We've counted over 50. Yeah. Uh, just, well, you know, that, yeah. Again, yeah. they populate. Yeah, especially when area. the wind is the right way, because they, they'll they float on the pond with, with, the, with, the, with the prevailing wind, and when they're coming in close, you can, yeah. They're beautiful animals. Yeah. Uh, otters, you must have seen quite a few otters. They're the muskrats that eat the shell, eat the. Eat well, the, uh, I, I have muskrats, um, and there are a pile of clamshells on Okay, the, well, muskrats don't eat clamshells. That's an otter. Is it really? I swear, you don't tell everybody, though. Just let them think that they're, they're muskrats. I've seen um, weasels. Yeah. I'm pretty sure mink. I saw weasels right mink. along. Mink? Mink. There's mink yogurt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. water. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's either mink or, or weasels. You don't have both. Okay. <coughs> but the, uh, the untold amount of waters we have in the system is amazing. I've kayaked, amazing. Um, I've gone into the Indian Head River off of West Elm Street and into um, all the way into the North River and then at one point I think I was on Herring Brook because yep. I was up to Mr. Degree. Meadows, beautiful up there. And um, it, was, it is beautiful. We went in as deep as we could so we couldn't paddle anymore. Huh. Yeah. That's the tidal zone. We have one of the right, most beautiful tidal, tidal meadows that. there is in the it's, state. Um, it's beautiful. Yes, tidal influence this far inland. Uh -huh. oh, I, I think we've talked with yeah. Sandy. Uh, I think I, I'd like to suggest that we uh, move this application along to the select while they already yeah. have it. That we think that she would make a yeah. great I'd, member I'd of this very, committee. I'd be willing to give a recommendation to you, no problem. Yeah. No. You, you do realize the selectmen of the appointing right. authority. Right. Correct. I talked to Rachel Yar and I, um, I learned that it's in transition right now and um, candidates come before the committee they wish to um, volunteer yep. and, and then after that process the final um, decision is made by selectmen. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll second your motion. Okay. I agree. We all agree. Okay, we all agree. So, yep. Yep. Well, Absolutely. I'd like to thank Great. Rachel. Will you make sure you. Though we made it unanimous. I don't like you behind me. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Maybe Thanks we for coming in. Yeah. Thanks for your thank time. Thank you very much. Okay, Bob. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Take care. All right, Rachel. I'll be in touch. Thank you very much for coming in. Well, as far as our agenda, that is no. the end of the meeting. Uh, we got Move nothing else. Yeah. Second. I'll vote to uh, close the meeting. Aye. 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 That was an easy closed. One.